Hey guys, welcome back to Setforce. So with me today, I have the Power Up FPV Play. So I reached out to these guys to be able to take a look at their product because I thought it was really interesting. And it was definitely a great idea. So you may be thinking, who are Power Up? Well, they make several paper airplanes which can be controlled with your smartphone. And today I have the latest model, which is their video recording one, and it has built-in autopilot stabilization. So let's begin by unboxing the product and taking a look at what's inside. So inside the box we have the main camera module with twin motors and propellers. Two spare propellers, four printed sheets of strong paper which can be used to make the actual plane, some manuals and then the battery. This is all the basic stuff which can be used to fly the plane. However, you can buy FPV goggles which will essentially allow you to fly the plane in VR mode which will be pretty cool. Before we get into flying the plane, we must build it. And in order to do this, we can follow the videos online, which shows how to make the Invader model, which is the name of the plane which comes in the box. And this is shown on each of the sheets of paper. Making the plane is fairly simple, so I will quickly show you how to do it. So once the plane is made, you must attach the module, and this is what allows it to be remotely controlled through your smartphone. Lastly, the app must be installed on your smartphone, which will be the PowerUp FPV one. And this is fairly simple to follow to connect to your smartphone. When connecting them, you must have mobile data turned off and connect to the power up Wi-Fi network. And in order to record video and take photos, a micro SD card must be used, which isn't provided. Originally, I did struggle to connect the plane to my phone, but after flicking through a couple of pages of the manual, I realised it wasn't that hard. What you have to do is insert the battery and set the plane down, then begin to connect to the plane's Wi-Fi network and go to the app, and then it will all be done. So after these simple steps, I was able to begin flying the plane. And if I'm honest, it wasn't really the easiest things. However, it wasn't extremely hard. And so after a few goes, I definitely got the hang of it. So when flying the plane, you must set the propellers to full power and then throw the plane up into the air at just above 45 degrees. And then the plane can begin to fly and then you start controlling it, turning and adjusting throttle. This should work pretty much every single time. However, it did take me a few attempts for this out. And I would say that a normal 4 propeller drone is much easier to fly. But then again, it doesn't have the FPV features that this plane has. As well as this, when flying, you're almost always focusing on the plane, and therefore can't look at the photo and video on the app, which means that they are hard to control. And this is why normally I would start recording before releasing the drone, which would make it much, much easier to get the necessary flight footage. Overall, I thought that the plane was definitely worth buying, and even though I did manage to crash it several times, it would still survive, and eventually I got the hang of it. So, this package comes at roughly $90, which isn't too expensive, and there aren't any other drones out there which can be much better than this for that price. So therefore, I would definitely consider buying this plane and trying it out. So, remember to go down to the description below to follow the link to this product, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also, remember to stay tuned for more videos on this product. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.